Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, October 18th, 2023. Let's get into it. This will be a very brief video, but I wanted to talk about the uh, Israeli conflict, and I have been warning you in all of my videos. We've got right-wing lunatic radio hosts like, uh, I'm going to call them out, Dana Lash, Sean Hannity, uh, Todd Stearns, let's see, Mark Levin. They're calling for the genocide of the Palestinians, and they're all in arms up. Kill all the Palestinians! Kill all the Palestinians! That's all I hear on the radio. People calling in, Israel needs to bomb the Palestinians back into the Stone Age. You get these people calling in. You do understand that the genocide of people has repercussions. Well, I found a video on uh, RT, and the Arab nations are rising up as a result. As I predicted, I told you if the Israelis overreacted, which is exactly, I mean, you got to, whether you believe in terrorism or not, it was an effective weapon in this case. Hamas so enraged the Israelis as to commit war crimes. This hospital that was blown up, but they're given the death toll now at 800. The entire world has condemned this. By the way, Russia, China, uh, I think it might have been just Russia and China. They put a, a resolution before the UN Security Council and said, you know, let's enter into peace negotiations. Guess who vetoed it? The United States, Britain, France, and I, I can't remember. There was one other country. Well, it, as Robert Barnes liked to say, there's the court of public opinion. Well, there's also the court of world opinion. And I'm telling you, the West, because 85% of the world is not the West. But 85% of the world is coming to hate the United States, they hate Israel, and they hate the West. Because all they can see us is genocidal lunatics. Let's watch that video right now. So the past 24 hours, even the past week, week and a half, it would have to just be one single word and it would be outrage. That is what people are feeling. That is what heads of state are feeling. Similarly, uh, many heads of state have been trying their best to ensure that the conflict between Israel and Gaza did not spill into regioning countries and territories and the threat of that is even alive. But it seems that many heads of state are at least a little bit more determined to ensure that something is done. Let's take a quick listen to what the Turkish president had to say when he called people to action. Hitting a hospital with women, children and innocent civilians is the latest example of Israel's attacks that lack the most basic human values. I invite all of humanity to take action to stop this atrocity in Gaza, which is unprecedented in history. Taking this attack into consideration, uh, the tolls are just adding up. Uh, Gaza's uh, Ministry of Health actually just released recent numbers suggesting that the newest death toll stands at about three and a half thousand, the most bloodiest um, campaign since anyone can remember really and the sentiments were also shared by Saudi Arabia essentially hinting that the attacks are being carried out against hospitals schools and civilian infrastructure let's take a listen to what the foreign ministry had to say the kingdom of Saudi Arabia condemns in the strongest terms the heinous crime committed by the Israeli occupation forces by bombing Al Ali Baptist Hospital in Gaza which led to the death of hundreds of civilians including children wounded and injured this dangerous development requires the international community to stop its double standards with relation to applying international humanitarian law when it comes to Israeli crimes. There is also one more thing that could just be fundamental. We've heard from uh, essentially Hezbollah media sites that have cited essentially Wednesday as a day of anger, essentially hinting that this recent attack has not just angered the Hezbollah forces within the region, but provoked them to the point where they say they will carry out an attack that Israel has never seen. This is a matter of great concern. The uh, format in which it will carry out, based on its claims, is unclear. The possibility Ability for escalation is incredibly high. The outrage is there, and similarly, so there has been a great deal of protest 
not to essentially mix up the protests that we've seen over the past week. These are protests of outrage, essentially, against the state of Israel. And there are protests in Lebanon, in Turkey, Jordan, uh, and the list goes on and on. So this is unprecedented, and it will essentially come down to what the leaders will have to do in response to these attacks. Okay, I'm glad you watched that video. I always get into a little something now that my outrage is over with to try to help you out. SD Bullion ran a special not too long ago where you could pick up some of this. These are Silver Eagles. Okay, I got them at Spot, which is unheard of. I couldn't even believe they ran the special. Now, you had to buy some other coins to get these, but daggone, give me Silver Eagles at Spot, and you could buy uh, 10 of them at Spot. So I, I you know, I don't buy much... To, to go put in my uh, various locations that because I just buy the uh, Sprott ETFs. But I'm telling you, with the world events and the financial markets crashing here soon, which I did another video on that, you better be stocking up on some hard assets. And then the other thing I just wanted to show you that you need to be doing, I've got tennis shoes and shoes that are falling apart. You're not going to be able to buy shoes. Get you some leather conditioner. Uh, th this is also leather cleaner. You know, be sure and, <laughs> sorry, that probably came out. And and be sure and treat your shoes from time to time. That'll prolong the life of them. And that's it. I know that's a stupid thing to end the video on. But I wanted to just do something lighthearted because this, this thing's blowing up. And by the way, the, the last thing was Hezbollah said they're going to attack in ways that Israel has never seen before. And you saw that in the video. Israel, you just condemned yourselves to your non-existence you can run on for a long time run on for a long time run on for a long time sooner or later god's gonna cut you down sooner or later god's gonna cut you down go tell that globalist liar that democrat idiot writer that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, sooner or later God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later God's gonna cut you down.